Hopefulness, day 10. I realized yesterday after my video that I started a day early. I should have ended on the 90 and then started on the 1 because it's throwing the whole thing out of whack. So I fucked up. <laughs> also, why the hell do people wake up at 3 o'clock in the fucking morning? It is unnatural. It is terrible. It's the worst fucking thing. I fell asleep early last night. Last night. Oh, oh fuck! My back hurts too. Not only did I sleep, what well, seems like well, I apparently slept too well because then now my back hurts. <laughs> so I don't know what the fuck. Um, I uh, decided to get some Instacart yesterday. Hence the. Uh, lemon pie um I got some tomato paste for for some sauce when the time comes and some brown sugar so at least I've got those going for me um <clears throat> got some hot dogs pot pies I wanted to just kind of, and I also had some, um, which that's why I was even going to do anything. Yeah, words. Those didn't make sense. Real cheese stuff. All the right products. some weird head spaces sometimes. So last night, like I said, I was going to, I was, I was tired. I woke up at like 11 a.m. yesterday, and then by like 9.30 p.m. I was tired. So I just kind of laid down. I was, there's this, um, where the hell did I put the damn thing? This color, <laughs> like, it seems like it. Ma it it's it's worse than than the camera makes it. Like, and especially because you know I have color vision issues. Um, it's nice and camouflage, especially because it doesn't just straight up stand out. You know, not like the yellows and the reds and dark colors. Um, <clears throat> that's not where that belongs. See, I'm so disoriented. So I went, I, like I said, I went to bed around 9.30 last night. Just kind of like laid down in bed thinking, eh, who knows? But then, um, this is Japanese watercolorist, um, on YouTube that I follow. And I watch his videos sometimes to just kind of relax. And I relaxed and fell asleep listening to him. Um, and then, ow, fuck! I just got what uh, what amounts to a paper cut on plastic. Jesus. <laughs> um, And then, for whatever reason, I effectively woke up at 3.30 and stayed in bed since then, and it's now 7 o'clock. 7 and change. Although these clocks are off intentionally by like 8 or 9 minutes, something like that. I don't, I don't set them like 10 minutes ahead. I set them ahead by like roughly 8 or 9 minutes, so I don't know exactly what time it is, because it throws me off if I... Because then if I know exactly what time it is, um, when I'm looking at one of these, then I don't get that kind of like, I can't put myself, I can't put myself in a state of urgency when it becomes necessary. Even though I still know that the, the timing is off, I can't do the quick math 
enough to know. I mean, you know, 12 minus 8 is 4, yeah, but 12 minus 10 is 2, and that's really easy. Because then you just move, you just get rid of the number, whatever. Anyway, doesn't matter. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He says it all the time, but I don't want to. I don't want to butcher his name. Um, I think it's. I think it's. Shit, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't even want to try. Because I'm like I don't I don't really, I don't want butcher's name. Um, he's extremely talented too, like absurd. It, it is ridiculous how talented he is. Um, he has a he has a series that he does where he effectively corrects your art. So you can send in artwork to him, and he'll give you kind of a, he'll assess the work. I mean, it's very much like what a, I would hope a teacher would do. And whoo, I guess it's a good thing that the that all of the gas doesn't ignite, but still. Anyway, so he'll uh, he'll leave your work, he'll assess it, he'll tell you what uh, what you've done well, what needs improvement, and then he'll show, then he'll redo the work in a way that he feels would it would create that improvement. So he would sh he'll show you that improvement, which is great. And, you know, throughout it, he's kind of walking you through the process and stuff. Now, there's some stuff that I still don't understand. There is a video that he has when it comes to, like, the three basics. And I was watching it earlier, but I was kind of falling back asleep. Because, um, again, he's just... I, I learned about him a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> it was back when I was really, really into ASMR. Like, I still am, but it was, like... I'm not really in the exploratory mode anymore like I used to be, where I was like trying to discover as much ASMR as possible. Um, but he was po I believe the, uh, his channel or video of his was posted on the unintentional ASMR subreddit. Before it was on the ASMR subreddit, it was labeled the unintentional item. Um, Lazy but efficient, I suppose. Um, Hot goes the butter. And he also he doesn't just do watercolors. I mean, it's mostly watercolors, though. Um, and due to the nature of how watercolors works. That seems to be his sort of um, specific style. And so he'll do like uh, crayons as well. And holy crap, is he good with these crayons? I mean, again, he is a, he's really, really talented. He's supremely talented. And like, it's just, it's ridiculous how good he is. Like I said, he'll uh, he'll critique your work, and at the very end of the video, he'll give he'll give whatever he does like a random drawing. So he gets this big old box, and it's all show and stuff, and he pulls out a number, and then that number is associated with a list of people that's I guess randomly been associated with the uh, like that's been inputted to his computer. Show a screenshot of that. Um,
and um, it's like he almost always draws out what he is going, you know, sort of an outline of what he's going to then uh, watercolor. And like his freehand drawing skills are just absurdly good. I mean, his the things that are basically what amount to scribbles from him are better than anything I've ever drawn. Like, it's ridiculous how good he is. Um, if I remember to, I'll I'll link to his channel on this video. I know I've promised videos, links, and stuff of other videos. I just don't remember which ones they are, and I get forgetful after I upload them, because sometimes they take three to four hours to upload, depending on how long they are. By then, I've effectively forgotten about the video. The heel of the bread is not the best. But it works. slept total six hours if you even consider it and I said I slept well but I mean I would say I slept well for the period of time in which I slept um, and I mean now I pretty much have all day to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with myself I'm going to do laundry at some point probably going to wait until about noon for that I don't know that we'll see maybe earlier I don't know I don't want to go too early so I don't want to wake anybody up, even though it's Monday and people are probably already be waking up. <clears throat> Let's At some point, I need the whole car thing going. Probably whenever I get to. So, my thinking was most likely going to happen with regards to a car. Is that I'll get. Uh, I forgot to text about the park, street parking situation. Um, I'll just do that. I said I gotta do laundry today. I also have a phone call with my psychiatrist. Um, I think that's probably done now. That's good. Looks good. Generally speaking, when it comes to grilled cheese, lower heat is usually better. time to get a car to rent or whatever. Uh, probably going to rent from Enterprise because it's the website I'm looking at. And they're relatively close to my storage. So when the time comes to get there's going to be pickups. I mean, that's part of their ads to Enterprise will pick you up. Um, when it comes time to do that, the likelihood is is that they will also have options that are overpriced for insurance. Because I can't seem to find a damn option anywhere for insurance. Like, I can't find a place that's, like, you can't find a source for insurance without a car. I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it's like, duh. 
not everybody has a car. And sometimes people are in my position where they don't have insurance and they want to get a car. And so it's better to have the insurance before you get a car. Still pretty hot. Still good though. We'll see. <clears throat> Try to figure out. I mean, I'm sure once I get a car, I'll be able to figure it out more so, but i like trying to figure out how best to organize this place. But, I mean, you know, grabbing my stuff from storage probably help. Um, yeah. I mean, I've got at least a month on it. <clears throat> I was looking at these apartments that are um, nearby PCC. The last time I knew about them, one of my friends, he was, uh, he was holed up in one of them. And I visited him briefly, briefly one day. I don't remember exactly why other than I guess just because he was there. Um... And um, I think it was like nine hundred a month, or maybe a thousand. I don't remember. It's like super small studios. They're like two hundred twenty square feet, basically just a room. But they've got a stove. Um, like a full on oven, they're like super on the efficiency side. Um, but if it's about that price, then I may have to have to contact them and see because they're literally right down the street from the school, like it's like a five minute walk. Um, from the campus itself. And um, it's $35 a month for parking, which isn't bad. And so, you know, if that's an option, I'll probably I'll probably do that. see but I mean chances are they probably don't have any space they'll probably have space at the end of the semester though um, when a lot of students move out but not right now I mean, if I, um, if let's say, for instance, for the sake of just thought experiment, whatever you want to call it, um, I were able, I were able to, blah, 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 blah. so tired. If I were able to move in in March, we got the rest of this month. What I would do then is I would get a car. Um, I, would, I would rent one at least. And especially towards the end of the month. 
so that I could start moving stuff. And I'd probably rent something more like a, a full-size sedan. So I have more space to put stuff in it. Because I have a twin-size bed, which should fit. into a full-size sedan. But it had to be a full-size. It couldn't be like, you know, a Honda Civic or something. <clears throat> there you go. Lay down the back seats and all that, but... That way I'd have a hard drive, but I'd also be able to move stuff. I wouldn't have to worry too much about um, like a moving company. <clears throat> we'll see. That's only if such a thing is doable and affordable. And right now I have no info on that because it doesn't have any prices listed. But, who's to say I don't have a, you know, an income requirement of like 3000 a month or something? So who knows? <clears throat> There's a lot of who knows. And most of it is I don't. I want to lay back down, but my back fucking hurts from laying down. Because I'm still tired. I'm not awake. I don't know, I'll figure something out. Have fun.